what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Angie and I have an 18 month old daughter named Isabella but we like to call her Bella for short so for today's video I will be doing a mom tag video that one of my friends Mary um, her channel is called mom's diary tag me in and so I will leave her channel link down below in the description box so make sure to check her out she's got lots of fun videos of cleaning organizing as well as raising her daughter in Germany and just family vlogs as well and I think you guys would like her channel so make sure to send her some love and let her know that you guys were sent from my channel so let's get on with the video uh, the first question how did you meet your spouse well, I met my husband through a high school friend of mine. They were actually co-workers and he introduced us. So that's how we met. Uh, number two, how old were you when you had your first child? I was 33. And number three, how many children do you have? I only have one so far. And number four, were all the things you heard about childbirth an adoption right or way off well there was a lot of things that I've heard about childbirth and I was expecting I guess you can say the worst I always like to prepare myself and so I watched a lot of like YouTube videos and talking to my friends that have had kids about their experiences and what they went through and I have to say like knowing more things is quite frightening because you get to see the reality of what could possibly happen and it is hard like really hard and so in the back of my mind I always knew like oh once I have like Bella and give birth I know it's probably gonna be the most painful thing I'll ever experience and so on and so forth and like funny thing is though that I prepared myself so much but in the end I actually had to have an emergency c-section so I didn't go through all of that stuff that I was like worried about or scared of so yeah that's my answer all right so number five is biggest advice for someone having a baby or adopting so I have to say that you're gonna get tons of advice from other people and telling you how to do certain things or what to do and you can definitely take everything into consideration but bottom line is it's your body you know how you're feeling and you have to do what's best for you so for example when I um, was going through my pregnancy I actually ended up having gestational diabetes and so the doctor um, sent all of us to a course to uh, listen in and figure out what kind of foods we can eat and like what type of things we needed to do and I remember like I was so focused on like my blood sugar levels and I didn't end up eating as much as I should have and I just was focused on that number and eventually I said to myself what am I doing I really need to just eat and take care of myself and not worry about the sugar levels I mean I'm sure the doctors would say otherwise, but I needed to feed my baby and make sure she was eating instead of just following these strict guidelines. But I would have to say at the end, anyways, once I like threw all of that like stress out the window and just focused on make sure I ate, it all worked out because my sugar levels were fine and it was within like the range that they wanted me to be. But I remember just at the very, very beginning when I was first diagnosed with it, I was really like stressed out and worried. But I just honestly did what I needed to do for myself and to make sure my baby was happy and healthy. And feeding her made her happy, I'm sure. Because I know now that Bella's born, she loves to eat just like her mama. She's a big snacker. So yeah. Just make sure you do what's best for you and what you feel comfortable doing because a ton of people will tell you what to do, how to do things, or this way worked for them, but not everyone will have the same like feeling through pregnancy and, and you just got to do you. All right, number six. Was your pregnancy hard or easy? 
I would have to say for the most part it was easy like I remember people would ask me like hey do you have like do you feel sick like how do you feel and I honestly have to say that I felt the same like whether I was pregnant or not I, it was the same to me and lucky like knock on wood like if I get pregnant again like I don't want to get super sick but yeah it felt I felt fine like there was no sickness or anything and I was quite happy that I didn't get that kind of like morning sickness because I heard from some of my friends that ended up um, having babies during the time I was pregnant they said that they had really bad ones where some days they couldn't get up and they just like felt sick all the time and very nauseous and just threw up and I sat there and I just nodded because I didn't know what else to say you know so I was very thankful that my pregnancy was quite smooth and the only issues I had was just my gestational diabetes and my high blood pressure. Alright, so number seven is what is the hardest thing about parenting? And I would have to say the hardest thing is making sure that we are on the same page and being able to follow through with what we say. So Bella is at the stage where she is very adventurous and she's testing her limits and sometimes when she does things that she's not supposed to do, she gets time out. And so I think when one parent says, you know, it's time for time out, then we need to follow through and actually do it. But I know it's easier said than done, but I feel like as a parent, we need to be on the same page and make sure that we are consistent. Uh, what is the most rewarding part of parenting? The most rewarding part is just getting those unlimited hugs and cuddles and kisses from your baby. That's when she wants to give it to you because <laughs> I know Bella now doesn't always want one and would rather run away and make her mama work hard for it. Alright, so nine is, do you have any hobbies or guilty pleasures? I would say, yes, of course I have hobbies. Um, I would say YouTube is a hobby because I enjoy doing um, the filming and editing and like all the behind the scenes as well as, you know, making thumbnails, like that's fun to me. And reading, which I haven't done in a while, but I loved reading. And... I guess doing anything that Bella likes to do, which is playing ball, building blocks, that's that's our life now. So I mean all the stuff that Bella likes to do is, it's fun, I don't mind. As long as she's having fun and she's occupied, that makes Mama very happy. Alright, oh guilty pleasures, mm, do I have any? I would say like watching certain shows. Sometimes I still watch um, like The Housewives, but not so much anymore. But that used to be something I'd like to do. Watching trashy movies, uh, not movies, watching trashy shows. Okay. And number 10, if you had to sum up your goal as a mom into two words, what would they be? I would say... Mm, happy and loved that's I guess that's really simple basically I want Bella to feel happy and know that she's loved no matter what even though she may be such a tough little cookie always pushing my buttons at the end of the day no matter what she does I will unconditionally love her from her head to her toes mommy loves her and share one of your favorite family memories well, there's just a ton. I mean, any time that Bella is with her cousins, she always has a good time and just seeing all of them together, laughing, joking, playing around, makes my heart happy. And I guess another family memory that I like is our trip when we went back east to visit her Nana and Papa in Ontario. It was super fun because Bella got to go and just spent a lot of time in the swimming pool and check out the beaches and in downtown Toronto the little square I can't remember what it's called but anyways 
it reminds me of like New York City. There was, we were across the street waiting at the stoplight to cross and out of nowhere she starts trying to jump out of her stroller and I realized it was because she saw the water fountains. Bella is obsessed, I swear, she's a little mermaid. Anytime she sees water she just wants to go and jump right in there and just, it's good though. I mean, I, I love the fact that she's not afraid of water and she's such a water baby. So, I know she'll love swimming. And I mean, she tries to swim anyways now and it's so cute. But yeah, I'd say that is one of my favorite family memories. Our trip back east and any time she spends with her cousins. Alright, that is it. Those are the 11 questions to the mom tag that Mary tagged me in. And I want to say I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Oh wait, back up, I forgot. Um, now that I did the video, I want to tag my friend Jill Sanchez. Um, I'll make sure to leave her, her channel link down below in the description box. Um, yeah, so Jill, I hope you do this video. and. I also take everyone else out there who wants to do this video. It's fun. I like the questions. It's always a great way to see what people answer. So if you do happen to do the video, you can always tag me or even let me know some of your answers down below in the comment section to whichever question you want to answer. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on so you know whenever I post new videos as well as leave a comment down below. Make sure to check out the description box because I'll put uh, Mary's channel as well as Jill's channel down there so you can head on over to theirs and check them out. I'm sure you'll enjoy their videos. It's quite um, entertaining and fun and yeah I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.